Hi, hello, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to the Curvy Chronicles. My name is Courtney and I am so glad you're here. Today I thought we would do a budget with me. My husband does get paid weekly, so I do our weekly budget every Wednesday. So let's get into it. And before we get down to brass tacks and all the numbers, I did want to say a huge thank you to everyone who entered my 100 subscriber giveaway. I have drawn a winner, and that winner will be announced in Friday's video, um, my Friday cash stuffing. So thank you again so much for all of you being here. I really, truly appreciate it. And I'm so excited for the future of my channel and just continuing to grow and enjoy this community. And I appreciate so, so much all of the love and support. So now, Let's dive into the budget. Okay, <clears throat> I have my colored pens, my calculator, and my coffee. So we are set. So first things first is always income. And I just use a notebook. I do not use a, a fancy planner. Um, you better bet next year I will be getting a fancy planner. Because, um, yeah, I... I love my notebook and I do my notebook and I've been doing a notebook for years, but I've seen some really cool planners that I'm like, hmm, I think I need one of those. So this week, my husband's bringing home $1,485.57. Then we switch over to our bills. So my husband's income isn't totally set. It does depend on the hours he works, but for the most part, as long as he works his 40 hours, he works four times right now. This is roughly where he's at. Um, he is due for another pay increase because he did officially reach his hours. Yay! I don't know if I said that in my last cash stuffing, but he reached his hours. So now it's just a matter of time for him to take his test and then we move on and he becomes a full-fledged journeyman. So yay, hubby! Okay, so we happen to be already a month ahead on all of our bills. I did this before I really even knew what it was. I did this last, oh gosh, no, it's been a few years now. So when I was home on maternity leave with my daughter, my husband was getting paid weekly, and then I we had um, state benefits that paid me while I was on maternity leave, and those paid out weekly. So I used that to adjust adjust how we paid our bills because previously we would use my paycheck which was once a month um, to pay all of our bills and then we would use my husband's to fill in the gaps so we adjusted to use his to pay the bills and mine to fill in the gaps so we are a month ahead on bills so i literally take all of our bills add them all up and then i divide it by four and then i round up so each week i have to set aside five hundred dollars to cover all of our bills I have the kids with me this morning because <laughs> they were up rather early and I need to film. So if you hear my chatty Kathy in the background, that is why. So basically $500 a week covers all of our bills each month. And it's, that is rounded up so that there is a little bit of a cushion in case like um, one of our bills is our, like our electric bill comes in at a completely different number every month. So it, it is a cushion in that. Now I will say, I'm just going to preface, we pay a very inexpensive rent for what we have. We are very fortunate. So that is why our bills are as low per se as they are. Um, we lucked into a place. We've been here for our six years. Holy smokes. And it is one of those where we are going to stay here as long as we can until we can eventually buy a house or potentially even buy this house. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. So bills. Um, we are currently doing a one week ahead, week ahead, and I technically have my one week ahead fully funded at this point, but so because my husband is an apprentice, he still has two weeks of class list, and one of those weeks I need to cover because it does not butt up to a magic month, meaning I don't have an extra paycheck to cover those bills. Okay, I don't know where I left off. I had to get the child down from the high chair. He was done with breakfast. So one week ahead. Basically, we have two weeks of class left, and one of those weeks is 
it's not read up to a magic month or a month with five weeks in it that I can then use to cover for the remainder of the bills. So right now it is technically fully funded, but sometimes there with him being an apprentice, there's some funky things with his insurance too, where we have to pay, um, kind of do a self-pay option to continue continue coverage if he doesn't work enough hours in the month. So I am still going to fund the week ahead and then whatever doesn't get covered, like whatever we don't use in that, I'm going to shuffle down to our camper loan. Okay, there's going to be a lot of jump cuts in this one and for that I apologize. Like I said, I normally try to do this before my kids are awake. Um, Okay, I don't even know where we left off. Okay, so week ahead, is already funded. We're going to dump the extra to our camper loan, whatever we have extra. Bills, our consumer loans are included in the bills. So the only thing I separate out from our debts is our credit cards. So for that, I switch to my red pen. So my STCU card gets 125 weekly at the moment. And then our city card this week is going to get 275. Typically, I do 250, but because my husband had to get extra gas for his trip to work, we had to do a little bit extra in there. So once we have all of that, this is like our to keep us to keep us together. We are going to total that and then give ourselves a remaining balance. Remaining, we have 485.57. So, remaining for the week, and I'll try and zoom you guys in a little bit. Sorry, that might have been too far out last time. So, remaining for the week to go into our cash envelopes and our sinking funds is 485.57. Um, right now, we have a couple of extra things we are paying for, so I'm not dumping any extra at the moment to debt because we have some expenses that we have to cover. But like I said, whatever's extra in this week ahead will get dumped towards debt and do a hefty pay down. So next we are gonna jump into our savings. So savings is what I quantify as our online accounts. So we have our Christmas account. We have our car maintenance account. Oops, tried to combine those words. Car maintenance. And then um, right now I'm going to just put Cody's account because this is funding his contacts. I also, he has like his own online account that we use that we use to put aside things for like um, his hobbies. Like right now his money to do his uh, journeyman test is in there. And then also um, money for his contacts. So I believe, let me look at last week. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so Christmas every week gets $25. Car maintenance gets $27 every week. And then Cody's is getting $50 to help pay for his contacts. Um, somebody asked me how I came up with the amount of $27 for car maintenance. Um, so basically what I did, because car maintenance is a new account for us, is I went through and I added up our all of our tabs, our registrations. So we have our camper, we have my car, my husband's diesel, his little Toyota pickup, and then our camp, my, our camper, right? Or did I say that already? No, nope. one, two, three, just kidding. So we only have four. So we have camper, car, truck, truck. And then we pay a separate insurance for my husband's Toyota because it's cheaper um, to do it by itself. We list it as a collectible because it is that old. Um, so I took all of the amounts of that plus the insurance and when they were all due and I divided it by six and then I divided six to get the monthly amount because I needed it in six months because I just started this in January. And then I took that six month amount or that monthly amount and I divided it by four to give us what we would need weekly. So once we pay all of our stuff, which everything will be paid as of July, I will probably round this number out to either 25 or $30 every week, um, just so we can continue to save for things like oil changes, major repairs, tires, because I think my car is going to need tires here soon. So that is all for our savings and our online accounts this time around. So after that, we have 383.57 left to spend. So then I go to my cash envelopes. So, 
So from here we have, we'll go into groceries. Um, and then also when I go, get to my cash envelopes, I look and see what our calendar looks like. So, so at this point I will take a look at my calendar and I will decide what needs to be, sorry, we're going to adjust the camera so you can see better down here, what we're doing for the week, whether I really ne need the extra in the grocery monies or if we need eating out money, if we need coffee money, things like that. This next week, the only thing that I, we have going on is there is one night a week where I will need to eat out because I am donating and not donating i am consigning my kids clothes so there's this big consignment sale at our local fairgrounds and they put um it's called just between friends and some of you might have heard of it but you go and you sell your clothes and you get it at a um your kids clothing and you get a percentage back it's kind of fun and i did it last year and it was or in the fall i did it in the fall for their fall sale and I actually made some money. So we're going to try and do that again. So I will need to eat out one night because I have to turn my clothes in, which will be later in the evening and I won't be home for dinner. So for sure, eating out is going to get 15. And then we've got Cody's spending money. And he gets $20. And I believe that's it because... Yep, we don't have anything else going on, so we're going to just leave that alone for right now. We are going, nope, I have extra money for that because we didn't go out Tuesday. So, yep, that's what we're going to leave it at. I'm going to leave groceries blank at the moment. I have us budgeted for 75, but I think I might do 100 because I want to restock some of my coffee syrups. So, actually... We are. We're just going to do 100 for groceries. Typically, I try to do between 50 and 75, but recently we've had some other like household items or things that are included in that grocery budget that I've needed to purchase. So um, I've just been upping that. And then whatever's extra, I will delineate towards our um, some of our other sinking funds if needed. So now that we're done with those, we're going to jump right Our sinking funds, we have $248.57 to dump towards those today. So, we're going to jump into my orange pen. And first things first is always family photos because that one is a must for us. And I believe this time around, let me grab my challenge books. That one's in here. So we were going to do, yes, $20 to complete this top row. So we'll do 20 to our family photos. And then tattoo is next. And tattoo, I think, if we can make this work. I'm going to try and budget it this way, and we'll see if I actually like how it breaks down. Tattoo is going to get 30 so we can complete, sorry, so we can complete these top two rows. That way, I feel like we're actually accomplishing some savings in those. So, let's see. And then I know for sure my nails envelope gets 20 because I already have my next appointment scheduled. And then my It's About Me gets I'm going to try and do 30 because my hair appointment's coming up faster than I realized. So I'm trying to get ahead on that. So those two are for sure. Do family fun is going to get five. Date. I'm going to put 10 in date night because this weekend coming up, my parents have the kids. And we're going to do a date night in. But I thought about going and buying like a fancy cake. But then I actually found a recipe that I might make a fancy cake because Cody and I both have a sweet tooth. So I think we're going to do that. Anniversary is going to get, we'll do five in that one because we have a while to save for that one. Gifts, I know I need to bulk up. So gifts is going to get, we're going to do 20, I think. So real quick, I'm going to add up and see where we're at. I still have roughly $100 to 
Yeah, a hundred dollars. Okay, so gifts is fine because my friend's baby shower invitation came in the mail, and I'm so excited. Um, but I only have a couple weeks to save up to make sure I can get her a really nice gift for her sweet little baby. Okay, so we got nails. It's about me. I do need to set aside. Okay, I almost forgot. We're gonna go up here. Cody has a chiropractor appointment. <clears throat> And I'm going to budget out $50 for that. So, Cody. Cairo. So, we don't know what our copay is going to be because the chiropractic is a new thing covered on his insurance. So, I'm going to budget $50 to cover that. So, that will change our remaining. But now I just basically what I'll do is I will just take um, minus. No, sorry. Plus 50 so, oh, 248, 57, minus 190, it's going to give us, yeah, 58, 57 is what we have actually left. I totally forgot he has a chiropractic appointment on Friday. Okay, so gifts, we're going to do 20. Um, I want to do, let's see, what else is in that binder? Is chickens? Chickens are going to get, uh, hold on a second, garden, chickens, garden, and then holiday and travel. Because I don't know that I'm going to be able to fill anything. And then I also want to put girls night out because I am having brunch with my girlfriends next week or this coming weekend. I'm so excited. So let's see. So we have $58 to spread between the two. And normally I put $45 in my holiday binder. So what I think I'm going to do, because that doesn't give me much left. I mean, what is that? It gives me $10 to put between four envelopes. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I want to put five in my travel because I want to get camping up to 100 I want to put 10 into Girls Night Out. Because I want to make sure I have plenty of money to go to brunch and have tip money and everything. Um, holiday, we're going to have to adjust. Normally, I do 30. Well, let's do that minus 30. Well, I was doing 30 and then I upped it to 45. That would give me 28 minus 10 minus 5, $13. We can do that. So we'll do 30 and then we will do five and five. And then that should give me a buffer of $3.57. And I always try to do a little bit of a buffer because that's kind of like my miscellaneous is my buffer. Um, just so that if we have anything weird happen and something comes out to be a little bit more, you know, we have that extra in there. Um, with Cody's chiropractic, if his doesn't end up being this much, I will probably take this money and put it towards his haircut, which he needs a haircut in two weeks when he goes to class next. So let's just add all this up and I will adjust this to be $50 less. 98.57. dollars Okay. So let's do some quick math and make sure everything adds up. Beautiful. So everything minus that gives us our buffer 357. So that is our budget with me this week. I We'll then go through and break down my cash denominations. Um, so I will do that really quick and I will just speed you up. I'm going to zoom you out for that. So last but not least, I fill out my sticky note. So we are going to get 20 in ones. 10 fives is 50, 6 tens is 60, and 10 twenties is 200 no. for a total of 
this is 330 and this is 20, 30, 46. So now I'm going to stick this handy dandy in here and I'm going to take it to the bank. But that concludes today's budget with me. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I break down my budget. Um, our budget does go look different every week, just depending upon what we're paying for and what we have going on in the week. Um, I don't really do the same things every, every week. There are certain things that do have the same things, but a lot of times, um, a lot of, but a lot of things are different. So we kind of change it up every week. Now, once we get through the end of March, um, we have kind of some prior obligations and commitments of things we've want to spend our money on. Um, we are going to then transition in April to really diving down on our debt and not putting as much into some of our other sinking funds. Um, instead of filling the envelopes, we are going to be paying down the debt so that we can eventually fill the envelopes more. So if you liked today's video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, our little group here in this corner of the internet is growing and I could not be more thrilled. I'm so happy you all are here to follow along on this journey. Um, if you ever have questions, leave them down in the comments. And if you don't like anything I have to say, well, you can just see you later. But without further ado, I hope you guys have a great day, night, weekend, weekday, whenever you're watching this. I appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.